Coming up on Mountain News this morning, there was a kidnapping in Estill County that left a woman beaten, tortured and robbed. And the Floyd County Homeless Shelter is doing its best to reach out to the unhoused community before the frost settles in. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Olivia Calfi. The time is 6 a.m. on January 4th. Now let's check in with meteorologist Shane Smith for a look at your forecast this morning. And Shane, a chilly start to the morning. Folks do not want to forget that big jacket whenever they leave the door. <laughs> That's absolutely right, Olivia. We've got air temperatures right around freezing, but in a lot of spots when you factor in the wind, it's feeling like the mid to upper 20s out there. So a cold start to your Thursday. Saw a few flakes flying earlier this morning on the satellite and radar image, especially down along the Virginia and uh, Kentucky border. Places like Whitesburg over towards Harlan, Black Mountain, Pine Mountain, uh, Norton and Wise. And as we go to Pinpoint Doppler, I've got the sensitivity turned way up to try to track a few flurries and light snow showers this morning. You can see a little bit of light action from Pikeville down towards Hyden. And most of us not going to see anything this morning. But if you step out the door, places like Southern Perry County uh, over towards Knott County, Letcher County uh, back into Floyd and Pike County you may see a flake or two fly not enough to cause any problems but just a little bit of festive snow for some of us most of us just going to be dry and cold you can see the sky cam network in most spots dry this morning temperatures into the upper 20s uh, when you factor in the wind though that's when it starts to uh, feel a little bit cooler than that feeling like 25 right now Somerset 27 some uh, London 29 Middlesbrough, 27 Prestonsburg, 24 current fills like temperature in Pikeville. We're only going into the upper 30s today. It's going to be a chilly, chilly day thanks to that cold front rolling across the mountains. And then all eyes turn towards a weekend forecast that's looking more soggy than wintry right now. We'll break it down in detail in a few minutes, Olivia. Shane, thank you. An Estill County woman says she was beaten, tortured, robbed and kidnapped from her home just days ago. She says she's so traumatized she can't even go back into her own house. Melissa Riddle says at 3 a.m. she heard a woman breaking in. She says that woman beat her, stole from her home, then forced her into her own car and drove her to a hotel in another county. It was talking about how they was going to when they got back out of that hotel room, how they was going to take me out and murder me and what they was going to do with my body. Eventually, Riddle says she was able to escape and drive back to Estill County. Right now, police have not made an arrest. In Wayne County, three people are behind bars after police say a man was assaulted by them. The incident happened last week when two men and a woman went into another man's home on Danny Flynn Road. The man reported that the woman held a knife to his throat and was assaulted by one of the two men. After arrest warrants were obtained, Candace Crabtree, Austin Lee and Joshua Jones were taken into custody. All three were taken to the Wayne County Detention Center. A man is in custody after an overnight standoff with police in a central Kentucky neighborhood. It all began around 930 Tuesday night in Harrodsburg. Officers responded to a possible disturbance and were met with gunfire shortly after knocking on the door. They retreated, began blocking off the area and evacuating neighbors. That's when they learned that another person was in the home. We were able to negotiate uh, a female to exit the property and she was taken without any injuries. Uh, that left the suspect alone in the residence. Both state police and the FBI assisted with the matter. After hours of negotiating, officers convinced the suspect to surrender and take him into custody. He's now in the Boyle County Detention Center. Kentucky State Police say they have been contacted about a burglary in Harlan County. They say it happened at a home off Spencer Road in the Cloverlet community. 
They say the back door of the home was broken into. The owner of the home is a Vietnam veteran and currently in a nursing home. Some of the items taken from the house include oxygen tanks, electric drills and a TV. If you have inf any information about the case, you can call KSP Post 10 at 606-573-3131. A woman arrested in connection with a New Year's Day shooting in downtown Lexington makes her first court appearance. A not guilty plea was entered for Montaja Long. Long is the woman seen in this video. It shows her firing seven shots towards someone who's running away. This all stemmed from a fight that happened near the Marriott City Center. The shooting putting local business owners on edge. We have all these things downtown and we've got somebody that doesn't have human regard uh, shooting at people and uh, you start to question uh, why. Long is charged with wanton endangerment and discharging a firearm in city limits. Her next court hearing is January 12th. Folks are remembering an Eastern Kentucky man who died last week. Eugene Welch Davis was a teacher for more than 60 years and served as head football coach at Pikeville High School at one point. He also served as the school's athletic director and baseball coach for several seasons. After retiring in 1997, Davis was inducted into the Pikeville High School Hall of Fame. Here are the funeral arrangements for Davis. Visitation will be on Friday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Both taking place at the First Baptist Church in Pikeville. Davis's funeral will be Sunday at 2 p.m. at Pikeville High School. Davis was 92 years old. One Eastern Kentucky superintendent is stepping down from his post after the school year ends. Pike County School Superintendent Dr. Reed Adkins announced he is retiring. Dr. Adkins has served the district for 28 years and says he is looking forward to his next chapter. He has also worked for the district as a teacher and principal. Here is some of what Adkins told WIMT about the decision yesterday. Quote, I've had a great career and been superintendent nine years. The system's in better shape. It's in great shape financially, great shape academically. Our test scores are phenomenal. It's been a great career in public education. I'm ready to move on to different endeavors. Atkins will remain in his role until June 30th. As the January temperatures leave the unhoused communities face to face the frost, the Floyd County Homeless Shelter has open beds to help them find rest and reassurance. WYMT's Buddy Forbes has more about the House of Hope. For some people, staying warm this winter will require some helping hands to bridge the gap. People in a rural area like where we live are embarrassed about being homeless. They don't want to be identified as homeless. For the unhoused individuals in Floyd County, the Mattawar House of Hope is working to be a catalyst for change. You won't find a group of people that are more appreciated than our clients. You know, they really want to change their lives, and um, you know, we're here to help them do that. The shelter recently announced openings after helping six individuals find stable housing situations, freeing up space for more unhoused neighbors in need. It's a big part when our clients come in sometimes from the street or wherever it is they come from, they are hungry in a way that many of us have never experienced. Representatives say the shelter works to not only provide people's needs, but prepare them for what's next. When we have openings, what it really kind of says is we're doing a really good job because we're moving people out that, that were here. Helping with transportation, employment, food and more, relying on the community to help fill stomachs and hearts. So that's why it's so important that our community steps up and provides uh, meals for us. We ask for lunch and dinner. Currently we have 13 empty spots. Not only to provide a little warmth, but to see them find a home and feel a little hope. In Floyd County, Buddy Forbes, WYMT Mountain News. If you or someone you know is in need of shelter or if you want to help feed people this month, you can call the shelter at 606-949-2018.
We are starting off with chilly conditions on this Thursday across the mountains. Let's take a look at our weather cam network, see what's going on in a few locations outside the WYMT studios right now. Mostly cloudy skies. Looks like a flurry or two may be trying to fly there. As 32 right now in hazard 31 over at pikeville at the pikeville medical center camera looks like we're either getting some snow or some drizzle right now notice all those water droplets uh there on the camera lens 28 currently at uva wise with mostly cloudy skies a few flurries are possible this morning especially uh south of highway 80. i've got the sensitivity on the radar turned all the way up and we are tracking at least the potential of a little bit of light precipitation out there this morning so just know uh, you may see a snowflake or two in some of our eastern and southern counties temperatures currently into the 30s but when you factor in the wind it's feeling like the 20s in a lot of locations this morning so you definitely want to bundle up as you head out the door and we are only heading into the upper 30s for highs today so a chilly thursday on tap but everybody's been talking about the weekend forecast and will we see snow? We'll answer that question and have more for you coming up when Mountain News This Morning returns.